Hi Kid Lifers! Welcome to Kids Life! I'm Marish Nagandaan and I'm a Kid Lifer just like you are. Welcome to another exciting episode, a special one as we celebrate Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all our moms! Hi everyone! I'm Yara, age 10. I am Yana, age 5. You're watching Kids Life! Hi, Kid Lifers! Thank you so much for joining us today once again here at Kids Life. Yes, you got that right. You're tuned in right now to our seventh episode. And we're so excited today because we have so many surprises in store for all of you, and most especially for our mom. Yes, you got that right. right. So before we begin, we'd like to thank Erich and Yara and Yana for helping us start off our show. So thank you for being here. Yes, thank you kids. Hi, Kid Lifers and our dear Kid Life family, Kids Life family. How are you today? So happy to be with you on this day as we embark on another exciting adventure with all of you kids and your parents. And speaking of that, I'd like to take this opportunity to greet all your moms a happy Mother's Day and happy Mother's Day also to all my moms on our Sunday school team from the Children's Ministry, our teachers. Love you all. This is your special day and happy Mother's Day also to my mom. Yes, indeed. Happy Mother's Day once again, everyone. Thank you so much for all the work and all the sacrifices that you do. And of course, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank it wouldn't, you. I wouldn't be here <laughs> if it weren't for you. Yes. Right? So exactly, kids, today is a very, very special day. So don't forget to greet your mom. Now, it's not just your biological mom. You can also greet your grandmother or your mm -hmm. spiritual mothers, as they say. Those who have helped you, like, like your, your teachers. Teachers, Right? Yes. Your teachers in Sunday school. Or your aunties. Right. Who are like a second mom to you, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So... Don't forget to follow us on our following social media platforms. Mm -hmm. You can follow us here on our YouTube channel. Bam! We have 71 subscribers, so let's try to make it reach 100 subscribers. Come on, we can do this together. Let's do this. <laughs> you can also follow us yes, on our yes. Facebook page. Bam! Our official Facebook page is called GCS Kids Life. And we also have a private group for prayers, announcements, and all of the other sorts. So it's here. On our Bam! Gmail, right? No, and now we have our Gmail, yes. which you can write to if you have prayer concerns or if you have a testimony testimony that you'd like to share with us. Here's our Gmail so you can send it there. Bam. Okay, thank you, Teacher Rainel, for putting all those things up for us. And kids, tell your parents and dear parents, our Facebook page has a lot of contents that you can look forward to on Sundays all the way to Monday and the whole week each day is an exciting adventure also on Facebook live so don't forget to go there get a look at it like it and also pass or share with your friends that could also benefit from it right okay now I think I'm missing my uh, my co-teacher and that's oh you brought with you so uh, Shelly <laughs> 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 of course but it's yeah. Shelly yes yes and so before we begin Shelly you're just in time we're going to open in prayer Yay. and we invite the teacher Tom to open us in prayer hi kid lifers welcome to another exciting episode of kids life join me as we open in prayer let us pray Heavenly Father, we thank you for our mothers who untiringly love and care for us with every passing day. Thank you for their selfless love they so often show and for the grace and encouragement they are able to give us, as well as their correction, wisdom, and counsel. Thank you for the role model they so often provide to us and to others, and for the many sacrifices they willingly make on account of their children and their families. We pray, O oh Father, that the influence that they exercise over their children would be godly wisdom, seasoned with salt, and bathed in prayer. We pray that you would provide the necessary health and strength they need to care for their families in their demanding task, 
and that you would grant each multiplied grace as they seek to carry out the many roles and responsibilities, each within their own homes. O Lord, hear our prayers for all this we humbly ask and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Allow me to greet every mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. Enjoy, kids, and take care. Thank you, Teacher Ton, for opening us in prayer. And as we said, Teacher Rainio, today is a special day, right? Yeah. Because we are celebrating Mom's Day. Yay! Yay! So we want to make our moms feel loved and special because they are special. So, Mom Shees, we want you to just sit back and relax and uh, enjoy and be blessed. We have so many guests with us today, yes. so many kids and teachers that would like to make this day special for our kids' life family. Mm -hmm. And with that, we have with us AJ and uh, her big, his big sister, Jeriel, Kid Lifers, of course, with a dance number. Yes, let's dance together with AJ and Jeriel Enriquez with Every Move I Make. Hello, Kid Lifers. Come sing him that to this. Mother's Day, Mommy Jenny Enriquez. Yes, Happy Mother's Day indeed, Mommy Jenny. You know what, Teacher Angel? Up next, we have another special surprise for uh -huh. our mothers. This time, we're going to hear from some of our kids. They're going to be describing how they see their mothers or how they appreciate their moms. I'm sure it's going to be adorable to hear from them. So let's welcome these little ones. Nana 
is a pretty woman and also very helpful. And I love her. <laughs> Mommy is... Good. And Mommy is playful. Mothers are pretty, mothers are lovely. Mama, I love you. You're super loving and caring. My mom is my number one fan. She supports us in everything that we do. Mama is beautiful, beautiful and loving. My mom is loving and caring. Mommy is pretty and take care of me. Mommy is helpful and Mommy is loving. Oh, hi kid lifers. I'm just looking for my mom and shh, don't tell her because there's a surprise for her. This bear is for her. And I want to describe two things about my mom. Um, she's a um, jewel, a diamond. Um, for me, I just want to make that she shines bright and she is kind. She is honest with me. She loves me. And I, I think I want to describe the last thing. Mommy said to remember this all the time I like every every time like times when I'm old times she is old um, time and times that we um, have problems uh, which is to love God more than anything or anyone in this world. Okay, bye and secret about the present. Bye. Thank you, little darlings, on how you describe who your mommy is. I'm sure you warm the hearts of your precious mommies. You know, teacher and your kids are really adorable. That's why I love working with them because they're so full of love and sweetness. And they are always very sincere and appreciative, as you can tell, right? Yes. Now, teacher and you, we will move to our Bible story time for our little ones. We introduced this segment last Sunday and we're going to continue with it. And it's brought to you by our dear... Teacher Tina! Take it away, Teacher Tina, with a special story of Ruth. Hi, everybody! It's good to meet you guys again, even though we're online. Really hope that uh, soon we'll be able to see each other again in person. But until then, we'll do our Sunday school lessons through this video, okay? Today, I want to talk to you guys about your mom. I know everybody loves their mom very, very much. I love my mom also. I want to tell you about a very special mom way, 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 way back before Jesus was born, before King David was born. Actually, this is King David's grandma that we're going to talk about, okay? So today's lesson, we're going to talk about Ruth and Naomi, all right? So way, way back in Israel, before King David was on the throne, before Jesus was born, there was Ruth and Naomi. Now, Naomi, right here, she had a husband. She's from Israel. And her and her husband, they traveled to a new country called Moab because there was a famine in Israel. And do you know what famine means? Famine means there's no food. So Naomi and her husband, they've traveled all the way to Moab where their sons married two ladies. The one son married Orpha, and the other son married, guess who? Ruth. But guess what, sadly, Naomi's husband, 
Orpheus' husband and Ruth's husband, they all died. And so Naomi, as she decided to go back to Israel, she says, I'm just going to leave my life here. I'm going to go back to Israel to be with my people. And Orpha and Ruth both said, we will go with you. We don't want to stay here. We want to go with you. But Naomi says, no, you don't want to do that. There's nothing for you in my land. Nothing at all. So Orpha says, okay, I'll stay here and, and work with my family. But Ruth, Ruth said, no. I love you like my own mom. I will go wherever you will go. I will stay wherever you stay. And the God that you worship is the God that I worship because you have been such a good mom to me. Now, can you imagine how nice of a mom Naomi must have been for Ruth to leave her whole family behind to go with her, right? Now, when Ruth got to Israel, that's another story for another time, how she becomes King David's grandma, right? But I want to talk to you about Naomi and Ruth and how special their relationship was. Naomi was such a good mom to Ruth that she was happy to follow her wherever she went. Now, I have a question for you guys. Did your mom take care of you super duper well, right? I know my mom does. When I was little, she would make my favorite lunch and, and send me to school with it every day. Now, what is something that you, your mom has you eat just about every meal, aside from rice? Do you, does your mom make you eat bananas with every meal, right? And sometimes after a while, the ban bananas, you don't feel like eating the bananas, do you? But your mom does this because she loves you and she cares for you very, very much. She takes care of all your owies. Does anybody have any owies right now? Your mom takes care of those, right? And she tucks you in and kisses you at night, right? And your mom only wants what's best for you, right? And so that way, you know your mom loves you and God loves you even more. God wants what's the very, very, very best for you. So since these people love you so very, very much, what should we do if mama, if your mom says, Ay, Lucas, I want you to go pick up your toys. Oh, what should you do? Should you go like this? Oh, I don't want to. Are you going now? Is that what we should do? No, right? Or what about Sky, right? If you need to eat all your bananas on your plate, do you need to do that? Yes, we need to obey our parents. And there's two reasons we need to obey our parents. One, because they love us. They only want what's best for us. And so we love them and we show them that by obeying them. And the second reason is because God told us to. Now, you remember how we've talked about before? God is the boss. Whatever God tells us to do, we do. So in the Bible, in our Bible, in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1, it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. So what I want to do today, we haven't done our memory verses in a very long time. So I want to just take a little bit of time and let's practice that verse. It's children, obey your parents in the Lord, for that is right. Now we got to come up with some hand actions because we always like to do our, our actions, don't we? So for children... We could do like this. You know how when we sing, uh, Jesus loves the little children of the world? We can do it like that. So we'll say, children, obey. Now, what's a good hand symbol to say, obey? Like soldiers, they say, yes, sir, and they salute. We can do it like that. So we can say, children, obey. Now, what should we do for parents? I'm thinking... Your parents, you love your parents very much. They're in your heart, right? So we'll say, children, obey your parents in the Lord. Now, what will we, what will we do for Lord? Right, we'll point up because God is in heaven, right? So we'll say, children, obey your parents in the Lord for that is right. What should we do for right? I think we should do this. Because that is the right thing to do. And it's really good. Right? Because that's what God tells us to do. So, ready? 
children obey your parents in the Lord for that is right Ephesians 6 1 can we do it again let's practice it one more time with all your actions everybody get your actions ready ready children obey your parents in the Lord for that is right okay now I hope you guys practice your memory verse and we can show each other sometime soon when we're able to meet again but until then I want you guys to remember that your mom loves you your dad loves you very much and Sunday is Mother's Day so what are you gonna do to show your mom that you love her for Mother's Day is there something special that you want to do can you think of anything special that you can do for your mom on Mother's Day right here here's a hint you can obey you can obey your mom maybe you can draw her a nice picture or maybe give her a hug and say I love you mommy thank you for being the best mommy okay all right I will see you guys again next week and until then have a wonderful week bye thank you teacher Tina so little kids you are not alone you're not left out so you get to learn every Sunday you know about how especially today of how Ruth loved her mother-in-law now teacher Rainiel, we have more kid lifers to bless all our mothers on their very special day wow blessings from the Word of God so let's welcome together Shanna Rocco Joshua and Rafa Hi Kids Lifers, I'm Joshua Calpi de Guzman and I will be sharing with you a verse that will be a blessing for all mothers, including my dearest mother. May you be strengthened with all power according to God's glorious might and may you be filled with joy. Happy Mother's Day! Stay safe! Goodbye! Hi Kid Lifers, I'm Shanna and I would like to take this opportunity to bless all moms today because it's a special day today. Just like my dearest loving mom, Lisa. Love you, mom. This blessing is taken from Psalm 20, verse 4. Moms, may God give you the desire of your hearts and make all your plans succeed. Happy Mother's Day! The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. Happy Mother's Day to all moms, including my mother dearest. I'm Rafa Castaneda, and that was a blessing taken from Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 to 26. God bless you all! Hi, Kid Lifers! Today is Mother's Day, and I want to say a blessing for all the moms, including my dear mom. It is taken from Philippians 1 verses 9 to 11. Moms, may your love abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. Filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ, to the glory and praise of God. Happy Mother's Day! Thank you so much, Shanna, Rocco, Joshua, and Rafa. It's so meaningful. God bless you. You know, Teacher Rainio, God's Word is complete, right? It has teachings, it has warnings, promises, even blessings, right? And it's so nice to speak blessings to each other. I'm sure you remember when you and your brother were growing up, I would speak blessings to you both, your dad and I, before you leave for school. Do you remember that? That's right, indeed. It's such a joy to give God all the glory and praise for our mothers because they are blessings mm -hmm. from the Lord. And mothers play such a big role in the lives of their kids. And to honor the Lord with 10,000 reasons, let's welcome Mommy Jenny and her son Jacob as they sing this song together. Hi, I'm Mama Jenny. And I'm Jacob. We're gonna sing 10,000 Reasons. Mm -hmm. 